How's it going? Welcome back to My Pristine Marine, and I would like to start by thanking everyone who has subscribed to this channel. It's only been up and running for about three weeks now, and I'm close to 30 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I will have many more videos to come. Okay, so what you're looking at here is a picture of a six-line wrasse, and you're looking at that picture because this will be the first fish introduced into the ocean motion reef. Now, this is kind of um, a tricky situation because if you know anything about six-line wrasse, you know that they can be slightly aggressive or territorial. So um, there's some ways around it, and I'm going to do those things. Uh, but first, let me just say I am a big proponent in planning out what type of fish to get before you walk into the um, local fish store. You know, uh, if you're like me, you go in there and you pretty much want one of everything. But uh, those who have been in the hobby a while uh, know that fish compatibility and care requirements uh, dictate pretty much everything uh, as far as what goes into your reef. So, uh, with that said, I have planned out very uh, tactfully what fish I want in this aquarium. And they are as follows. Of course, a six-line wrasse, a striped blenny, a chin-strap jawfish, a pink bar goby, and then a school of either um, three chalk bass or three orchid-striped cardinal fish. Okay, so, um, like I said, introducing the six-line wrasse at the beginning is a little bit uh, tricky because of their um, slight aggression or possible aggression towards other um, introductions into the aquarium. So what I'm going to do is after uh, the six-line wrasse, the next fish to be introduced will be that school of either chalk bass or orchid stripe cardinal fish. What I really like about the six-line wrasse, well, there's a lot of things, but what I really like about the fish is that it's a, uh, it's a lot in one small package. It has great coloration. Obviously, there's red, there's blue, there's green, and it has a lot of personality. Uh, this fish loves to swim uh, fast in and out of rock work. I like how it has the uh, fake eye in the back on its tail. Um, to confuse predators. And not only that, but that it's a different color. The tail is green. Whereas some fish that have that extra eye, um, you know, to confuse predators, uh, it's the same color as the rest of the fish. Uh, his tail is actually green. So that's pretty cool. And then I like how the eyes are red and they have the stripe in the eyes. And then I like how it um, creates that mucus bubble uh, to sleep in, like a parrotfish does, uh, possibly to um, you know, disguise its scent from predators. That's one theory. I think there's a few other theories. Um, so it's a lot in one small package, and um, that's why I went with this fish. So when I went to the local fish store and picked out the six line wrasse, I asked them to hold it for a few days because I just wanted to make sure the quarantine tank was um, all ready for them. And so they held them for a few days for me so I could just make sure all the parameters in the quarantine tank, which is already running, um, we're good. And here he is. His name is Primo because he's the first fish for the aquarium. When I brought him home, I just, uh, I'm a big fan of drip acclimation. I know that some species don't require it, but I do it regardless. And I do about a 45 minute drip acclimation, a few drips per second, and I empty out. Uh, about a cup of water every 10 minutes or so. So, you know, by the time the acclimation period's over with, it's pretty much 100% of the aquarium water. And that's the quarantine tank, just a 20 gallon tank that has a simple hang on the back filter, power head, heater, and air stone. After about 45 minutes, he went right in the tank, and I was surprised that he did not go right for the rock work. Um, as I said before, these fish love to. Um, hide and dash, dash in and out of the rocks, but he stayed out in the open for quite a while, so he seemed pretty happy. And after about an hour, once he was still swimming around, I decided to feed him just to see if he would accept food. And in the store, they told me um, that they mainly feed pellet food and um, 
you know, some meaty food. So uh, it's always a good idea to ask what the fish are eating when you pick up a fish. I was very pleased that he uh, readily ate. Um, what I'm feeding is a product called Reef Frenzy, which is kind of a combination of a lot of different um, foods like mysis and brine and krill and it's supposedly a really clean food that is washed and rinsed in RODI water. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching Primo and the Six Lion Rats. And in about three weeks, I will go ahead and uh, introduce him into the aquarium. So the next video, I'm going to talk about some of the equipment that I chose for the system. And I'll start with the LED light fixture. I went with the Evergrow IT2060. And after doing lots of research and narrowing it down to about three different fixtures, this is the one I chose, and I'm very happy with it. So I'll talk about some of the details about that. And... Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you already haven't, and if you have, thank you very much. I'll see you next time.